Hello YouTubers, welcome to Stats 1 OCR January 2011. We're going to look at question 6. As you can see it's a permutations and combinations question. And it's quite a large one. Now we've split this into two parts on two screens because it's just too big to fit onto one. So the diagram shows seven cards each with digits printed on. The digits form a seven digit number. How many different seven digit numbers can be formed? So we need to think about arranging these cards and if you think the seven cards, so in total the seven factorial ways to arrange seven cards. Now the difference is here some numbers are repeated so you wouldn't know the difference when you made this number um, 1,333,559 if this 3 was here or this 3 was here for example. So actually we can make this same number a lot of different times and we need to get rid of these repeats okay? because it's still the same number. We don't want to count it more than once. So the number of ways that these threes could be rearranged is three factorial. So you want to divide by three factorial to get rid of them. And you also notice that the fives are repeated so that they can be arranged two factorial ways which is just two. So if you do this calculation on your calculator you're going to get an answer of 420 and that's for three marks. Okay, that's the first part done. Part two says we've got cards, this time they've got letters on and they've coloured the cards. Five are white and ten are grey. Now what I've done as a little key is put a dot on my grey ones because I will be moving these about a little bit. So if we look at part A, from these cards three white cards and four grey cards are selected without regard to order, so order doesn't matter. How many selections of seven cards are possible? So if we want three white cards, at first we're only picking from the top row. So at first we've got five cards to pick from and we want to choose three because order doesn't matter. For the grey ones we've got ten cards and we want to pick four. So we do ten choose four. And we want to multiply these probabilities to account for the different possibilities and we get an answer of 2100. So that's the total number of ways that you can pick seven cards where three are white and four are grey. Looking at part B it gets a bit more tricky. It says find the probability that seven cards include exactly one card showing the letter A. Fortunately we've only got two A's to worry about. Now if we think of picking the cards that means there's only two options for which A we have. We have to have one so we could have this white A first or we could have this grey A first. Okay. There are two options. We have to have an A remember and we can't have the two A's. Now as before the seven cards have got to have three white. Now in the first case we've already picked out one white here so we need two more white cards and we're picking two white cards out of the top row which is four white cards so it's four choose two. For the next one we need a grey card and we need exactly four grey cards. Now remember we can't pick the A so we've only got the other nine to choose from. So we're going to be doing nine and we want to choose four. And if you multiply these together, you get the answer of 756. For the second scenario, we imagine we pick out the grey card. Now we've got five different white cards to choose from. And this time we want to choose three whites because we haven't 
picked any white yet. Okay, but don't forget we can't use the A, so it's not five, it's only four to choose from. So now we think about our grey cards. We've already got one grey card, so we need three more, and we've got the nine remaining greys to choose from. So what you have to do again is multiply, and you get the answer of 336. The total possibilities you get by adding the first case to the second case, which is 1092. And for a probability, you have to divide by the total possible number of options, which, look, we've already figured out. So it's 1092 over 2100 as a fraction or as a decimal to two decimal places, 0 0.52. That's your final answer. I hope this has been helpful. And make a comment or like if you want to. And I'll see you soon. Thanks for watching.